you're a big leaguer. I hope he doesn't take this to heart and understand how good he really is. Just go out there and keep doing what you're doing. They know how good he's going to be. Let's get to the Jack Leiter Rangers debut against the Detroit Tigers. It is time for your MLB nine innings, a 24 stat breakdown. So he just got taken out and it's been a high scoring affair on both sides in that game. But the first inning went okay for him. Two strikeouts. I yeah, think. you yeah. kind of got the nerves, you know, in check. Yeah, it was a, a three pitch strikeout, gave up a, a knock, strikeout, walk and a fly ball out. Yeah. His day is done after three and two thirds. He gives up eight hits, seven and runs, three walks, three punch outs. Did get 10 swings and misses. He touched 97. He was lighting up the PCL on the strikeout numbers. And it's, it's so weird how a guy can kind of progress and change from the college ranks to the pros and now obviously to the show. This was a command and control guy and he picked up punch outs at, at Vandy. But I think when you would listen to the scouts projecting what he was going to look like. They were like, this dude's going to be low walks. He's yeah. going to dot the zone. Actually, I mean, not George Kirby, but you thought more along the lines of someone like that. And then he goes through significant command yeah. and control issues for multiple seasons down in the minor leagues, gets called up here at age, whatever it was, 23 or 24, whatever I said the other day, he's about to turn 24, I think. And, you know, at least in his first start, it ends up being a rough day for him. Yeah, I think – when you go to the minor league, so instead of in college, you're facing three or four really good guys, and then it kind of teeters off. You're facing the best of the best here. And then when you get to the big leagues, you're facing the best of that best. So mm -hmm. I think it was a learning experience the first couple of years. I think he was figuring out himself. I think he, you know, it's one of those things where it's not all going to be blowing guys away. He had to figure out his change up a little more, his off speed pitches, throw him more for strikes. I think at the end here, watching this, Tavares actually whiffed on a ball here. Should have been three unearned runs. Didn't feel for the fence. But, yeah, his fastball was getting hit. His changeup wasn't all there. But this is your first outing. It's okay. He's going to be just fine. He throws high, mid to high 90s all the time. His ball needs a little more movement on that fastball. And I think he's just going to be just fine. He retired seven straight guys at one point. And um, – Watching his dad and his mother there, man, it was it was this must be a really good moment for them. So, take this first start with a grain of salt. Move on, make the adjustments. Remember, this is the the best of the best. Doesn't care if it's the worst team in the league or the best. You're going to get hit in some days, and it's how you come back. From yeah, it. and our our friend Toasty in the chat said he looked decent. I know this last inning when he gave up a few runs, you know, uh, maybe a little bit of luck involved there. But he said really no control of the secondary pitches at all. Uh, J.J. Cooper has been following Jack very closely um, and and said that there was a massive difference between, you know, split the, the upper half and the bottom half of the zone. And he said fastballs up are playing super well for him. He started <coughs> pumping those fastballs up in the minors and getting elite results. Fastballs down getting crushed. I think we saw one get crushed by, who was it, Riley Green maybe? Yep, it was. Early on in, in yep. the game. And it was actually a ball too, but. For a lefty right down middle end, it's kind of a good spot for those guys. So, Yep. Listen, first game, get the, get it out of the way. You're a big leaguer. I hope he doesn't take this to heart and understand how good he really is. Just go out there and keep doing what you're doing. They know how good he's going to be. Okay. What do you think of the Rangers as a whole right now? I mean, we've gone over the fact that they're dealing with injuries, but they still have the rocks and the line. But I still think we don't talk about Adolis Garcia enough no. on a national scale and how he was not really hyped at all and was available for any team to pick up, and he was a freaking star. I mean, he was a legend in October last year. When, when I was with the Rangers, and it was <coughs> 2020, the, the COVID year, and every time he walked by me, I'm like, Yo, this is Mike Tyson right here. He's a freaking pit bull. <laughs> this guy – he walk over here, Fridge. How, how you doing? Like he's got that deep voice. Yeah. And every time I see him, he give me a big hug, and I'm like, we, you know, we do the inner squads and all that stuff. And he'd hit a ball. I'm like, oh, I got to move back a little bit on third base. I, I thought he was gonna bunt. 
at first because I didn't know much about him. Yeah, well, and um, what were people saying about nothing. him? He wasn't really they're like, they're was like, a, an like a nobody. organization. Guys, like, just watch out for this kid. Watch out. He's going to be something. Watch out. You know, I'm like, all right. You know, they say that about a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of teams do. But <clears throat> the way the ball came off the bat and the noise that comes off the bat, I'm like, he's got it. He's got it. I, I didn't know how good he was going to be. But he just stepped up to the challenge and took off like a rocket, man. The so concern was swing and miss, uh, right? They were like, "Is he gonna?" They're like, "This dude hits rockets, but yeah. is he gonna make enough contact?" He's got a home run again today. Like, yeah. Answer: Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't care about the swing and miss. The guy produces, and he's got that clutch gene. Yep. And I love the way they built the team. I mean, they they brought in the two rocks, in Marcus Semyon and Corey yep. Seager for the long term, and then Chris Young is really emphasized. Pitching, pitching, and yeah. more pitching. Yeah. Oh, we feel like we have seven starters. Let's go get an eighth. Yeah. Because half of them are going to be on the shelf within the first five minutes. It's it's just how the modern game works. Exactly. You have to prepare yourself for a marathon, and I do feel like the Rangers have done that well. Like they might they might have the longest list of significant injuries, or not significant, but the longest list of injuries in the league right now to impact players. Yeah. They've got to be up there. Help me out in the chat. Like teams right now to the first few weeks of the season that are missing some big names they have to be up there and Agreed. and yeah it's not a great start for them but they're fine like i don't think anybody's watching them Stay like uh oh no, no no what's wrong with the rangers nope not at all not they at also all. have done a nice job of drafting developing they did a nice job of yeah, evan selecting. carter i mean the guy yeah evan carter holy crap took and, off and, and now he's batting three or four hole now so and it's like, he was so good in the playoffs last year and i remember when he was picked People were like, oh, I had him way further back in my mock draft. <laughs> what are they doing? Whatever. Nailed it. Yeah. Wyatt Langford, who was super hyped, mm -hmm. but they end up with him. Nailed it. Young, At least for now. Young I know it's early. Hurt. I mean, uh, so they got. Yeah, Josh Young's hurt. Yep. So they, they got they got some guys waiting. They, they'll be just fine. They stay right here. They'll be fine. DeGrom's injured. Sure. I mean, they got guys that DeGrom probably might not even come back this year. So Really? Uh, I mean, from the top. I mean, the have second you been keeping Tom in touch Don, with him? I, I haven't recently. Okay. I did send him some pictures you, you, of me hitting a home run off him. He still hasn't texted me back. So <laughs> you got to like to keep him in check. Yeah. We, you promised at one point you yes, get a, a so, degrominator appearance. Does that have to happen when he when he's back? I think so. Yeah, Most I, guys I, I don't, don't like to talk when they're hurt, right? Pretty strange, but whatever. It's all good. What? To get him? That they don't talk. It's, it's uh, all good. What? what? Did you – were you like that? I mean, if, no, if you were feeling it no, I would try and someone was like, hey, can you come on my show for 10 minutes? Yeah, no, I would come on. Yeah. Nine times. Why are 10. some guys like that? Because they don't want to talk about the update on their injury. Like, I guess. You know, for know. media, yeah. whatever you, you want to call this, when you bring a guy on, obviously we're going to ask, also as a human being, like, how you feeling? Yeah. Like, just like if I saw Joe Schmo on the street and he had a freaking arm in a sling, I'd True. say, hey, how you feeling? Yeah. Why, why is there a problem? Everything's they want to hide everything when we already know you're not going to be pitching for for a minute months yeah. and months on end. So that's just people being weird. I don't know. It is what it is. Some guys do. But yeah, I don't get that. I, I don't really see what the point is. Tyler Glass has been good with that. Walker Bueller. There's some guys around the league that, yeah. you know, went through long term injuries and you'd still see them pop up. Sure. I, I don't think they necessarily want to be hosting their own show every day, no. but to do an interview here and there, not that big of a deal. Last one I want to call out with, with the Rangers while we're talking about him is is Jonah Heim, too. In my mind, not talked about enough. Yep. Clutch, great defender, um, great game caller, Without good pitch framer. Kratzy loves him. He's He does, right? Yeah. That's one of his guys. And then not many talk about him. We got that slow little Will Clark, and then boom. So. I think he's got a home run today, too, if I'm not mistaken. Heim does, too. The, the guy is quietly, really quietly taking off in that catcher position and hitting, being a good hitter, too, as well. So, like him a lot. Also, Max Scherzer is looking at early May for his return and could start rehab outings right. next week. Oh, wow. Hey. That's really good. Yeah. And he'll be, at, hopefully, 100% close hopefully. to it. That's a really he's good He's been sign. doing it for a long time <laughs> at – Max, max level, max effort. And I'll take him any day of the week at any age. Yeah. Is... I mean, he, he made it back for them in the playoffs last year. It wasn't the max of old, yep. but we'll see. All right. Check out MLB 9 Innings 24. You can scan the QR code on the screen and download MLB 9 Innings 24 for a free. Get the baseball, best baseball game in the palm of your hands. All the latest from the 2024 season. Hey, everybody. 
Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball the way it should be covered.